what up, y'all? This is Large Professor, Large Pro. Got my dude Killer Shy with me. Yo, we on G4 TV. Right now, I'm about to hit the booth, man. Freestyle 101. Yeah, G4 TV. With the X to the P, Large Pro. Large Professor, yeah. Yo. From the plane to the studio, that's how it go When you live in that life of the man, large pro Yo, freestyling off the dome is something that I do Went, went back home, kid Yeah, every day in the life when we doing this thing Check it out Check it out Yo, yo, hey yo, it's L, son Front on me is bad for your health, son Bang, boom, pow, like the drummer Louis Belson Hit him with the handgun, beat him with the bell, son Shouting out left rack, section five in the back Not your average, I'm liver than that Rolling out on whoever got a problem with that I'm an animal, when I'm on the prowl I attack Like a jaguar lion, I rap more defiant than others Hit a snatch off the covers My think tank smothers your yap with more rougher Exposure, see me in the desert with the vultures Handing out flat lines to those that approach us Dudes that be sleep got a smell of folders Freestyle, every day I go wild Off the plane to the studio, you know With Large Pro, that's how we go G4 TV with the X to the P, every day, every day, yeah, all day, every day, kill a shot, yeah. I was born in uh, Uptown Harlem, New York, and I migrated over to Queens to Flushing Queens, over there where the globe is. I mean, it was just basically growing up at the same time that hip hop and freestyling was just getting it started, so it was like, I just like, that's my culture, that's my, you know, my way of life, so some of my first encounters with hip hop was just like going uptown, seeing a lot of people on Linux, like seeing a lot of block parties, you know, then going back home, Queens, you know, just hearing like different songs in the park, like a lot of Grandmaster Flash and Furious Five, they had Freedom was out. Like that's a lot of times, like when I go outside and be summertime, you hear different things on the radio, you know what I'm saying? Like 98.7 Kiss out at home, man, like Chuck Chill Out, Red Alert, you know, Mr. Magic, you know, just listening to the radio, man, just, you know, getting them vibes early. The difference between a dope lyricist and a freestyler is like a freestyler is someone who's witty, like quick with the mind, like they can think fast, so like what words go together real quick you know some people are very very good you know some people you could give them a scenario right there and they could rap the whole scenario right there i mean a dope lyricist will come with something that's really like they concentrated on and prepared it up real nice and it's like something that you know the average mind just you know off of the cuff can't really think you know what i'm saying like like they put it together so it's like really nice you had a lot of people who would come prepared they had their rhymes already you know they had the campaigns already kind of solidified and then you had dudes like a like a rem lz that I'd just come and just flip it off the lip like just you know what i'm saying i mean it's just a mixture of both and then there's also you know the aspect of you know who's taking it serious and who's just flinging it you know what i'm saying just like a flip of the lip like some people really try to take their words serious like when they really putting it down and then some people are like you know just cool dudes just like yo you know we're gonna have a little fun and just flip the lip real quick you know what i'm saying so it's just like it, it depends on the individual there's a little bit of freestyle in every songwriter and there's a little bit of songwriter in every freestyle definitely the current state of freestyling is it's more on the underground level like it's definitely not not hearing any records on the radio that are freestyle you know i mean they are but it's not, it's tailored up freestyle, you know? I mean, but as far as just, you know, the rawness, the raw freestyle ability, like that's more on the underground level, like where dudes pretty much get in cypher and, you know, just go flip the lip, like, you know what I'm saying? Just off the, off the dome kind of thing, definitely. And the replay value of a lot of freestyles, like, you know, you get some people who are really exceptional at it, where it's like, yo, that's, that's dope, like he's he's crazy with it, like a supernatural or somebody like that, you know, who could take a scenario, take a whole scenario and, and rap about it. But the replay value of a lot of freestyles is just like, you know, it's, it's good when it's just off the cuff right then and there.